More than 400 business leaders, investors and global government officials gathered here in Singapore today to discuss environmental issues and sustainability at the 11th United Nations Global Compact Network Singapore Summit. Vanessa Lim tells us more. Sustainability took center stage here at this summit and her opening address to Masik Holding CEO Ho Ching urged businesses to take urgent climate action. She said with the growing population placing increasing stress on the world's resources, businesses have a frontline responsibility to protect natural resources and the environment. She said that Masik will start to report and track its water and energy consumption as well as air miles starting this financial year. Now this comes as the Singapore investor firm looks to go carbon neutral by next year and half its greenhouse gas emissions across its portfolio by 2030. Now, this could make a significant impact as Tomasic is currently one of the world's biggest investors with a portfolio of about 313 billion Singapore dollars. Now, she also encouraged businesses who haven't already done so to start tracking and reporting their water and energy consumption. Now, this could have an impact as well as Asia is currently home to more than half of the world's population and accounts for a growing share of the world's global production and consumption. We will face multiple headwinds in the decades ahead. Yet there are also opportunities in these challenges. Technology, for instance, is both a threat and an opportunity. Businesses have the resources and organizational capacity to make a real impact in a systematic and tangible way. From production and resource efficiency to workforce training, from good governance to the environment, Businesses can set the tone for their people. Doing right and doing good to do well will help them earn trust and strengthen their social license to operate. At the same time, or at the same event rather, Environment and Water Resources Minister Masango Sukifli also encouraged companies to adopt sustainable practices. He says businesses can mitigate climate change by adopting energy efficient and low carbon technologies and solutions. Over the years, the energy efficiency improvement rate has increased from 0.4% in 2014 to 1.4% in 2018. This alone has resulted in $370 million of savings. We must sustain this rate of improvement over the years ahead.